You want to tell me what that is? A spring beauty. How do you know it's a spring beauty? Because it has five petals and there's, and it, and there's little pink lines on the petals and there's five petals. And, the, and if you look really closely, there's some pink on the stands. The stands. Good and looking. the leaves are really skinny and long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one tricked us because it, it looks like the same, but it's a little big, fat, um, smaller, and a little fatter, and it, and it has little cut things on the leaves. It looks sides. like a little fairy came by and snipped the leaves, huh? Okay, That's why it's there. called a cut-leaved toothwort. Yeah. Show me, show me where one is that's blooming. Can you find one? Right here. Uh, a cut, what's it called again, Mommy? A cut leaf. Cut leaved toothwort. It doesn't, it has yellow at the end of the things and it and has four petals mm -hmm. and it doesn't have any pink on it. Good. Good job. They look very similar though, don't they? Mm-hmm. They're both beautiful. Are they related? That's a good question. Do you Am think I? they are? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Let's find out. What? Do you know May apples? Um, they look like little um, fairy umbrellas. Mm -hmm. And they... Mommy, do, they, do you think that they might protect little animals from draining? Oh, yeah. If I were a little insect, I would go under there. And today I realized that when they're little and they're blooming first, they're all curled up. And then they uncurl into a little fairy umbrella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and babies in strollers like to hold them when we're coming back from nature walks, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have to use a stroller to get to a nature area. I guess we don't anymore, huh? Oh, yeah. Here's a mommy baby one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are very small and I and right here I just realized on the other one this is really light and when the when they're grown up, you can still see the little light, light green on the bottom. Aha, uh -huh, good observing. What do you think that is? Uh, like, it kind of looks like a chrysalis. It does look like a chrysalis. Is that where it's born from? Uh -huh. Maybe that's it's how like it starts. It starts. That. If it starts out like this, then it, when it gets bigger, that outgrows it, then it pops out yeah. into these and it gets bigger and bigger. You're right. How cool. Until it turns into a adult. Yeah. Mommy, look. It's baby. It's mommy, sister, baby. Because <laughs> this one fell down like this, so oh. I just pop that up like that. Oh. It proved it that they actually, that may apple start out like a little baby in the light green, but mm -hmm. as they grow bigger, up, they pop out, and, and then they get bigger. When they get big, there's still a little cell of it. So you know that it's a May apple. That's so cool. Your hypothesis was right. And that does look just like a chrysalis. What kind of chrysalis? Which butterfly does uh, that like look like? Like a monarch. It totally does. Except it doesn't have the thing on it. Yeah. And it's not hanging upside down, huh? <laughs> um, this is dead nettle. You can, it's a purple. What is it? Dead nettle. It's a purple flower. Um, like and it's kind of lavender color, and it, and you can make tea out of it. And it has it. Like, leaves are kind of fluffy, and they kind of look like um, what lily pads. They do look like lily pads. Like, and these are the like, little flowers on it, and like, this is the lily pad that it's on, going mm -hmm. on. It looks like a weed, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And you shouldn't pick, pick.
pick it because it's a live flower and you, and you shouldn't really pick live flowers unless you're making tea out of it. Have you drank the tea? Uh-huh, I like it. Yeah, we Good. made tea last year. What what did it taste like? Uh, Do you remember? Did yeah. you like it? Uh -huh, I liked it too. Yeah. This is the purple violet. I, mommy, these, I think these might be the ones that, that, that's all, all over the yard because uh, the grass mm -hmm. in our yard is really, really purple mm -hmm. because all of those white flowers are covering our yard. Mm -hmm. Green inside and they don't have any of the long stuff in it, only on the very, very bottom. Yeah. And it's really um, it's on the back. soft. That's why it's back in here. And it's the really pollinators really have to crawl into it. Mm -hmm. I would feel more safe if I was getting pollen. If I could go inside. They don't okay. have to watch their back as much, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And heart-shaped leaves? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not like lily pads. Yeah. And this is garlic mustard. If you crunch it up, it smells like garlic, but your eyes don't water. Like it always does when, when I cut garlic. Yeah. And, it's, and, it, and it smells really good. Yeah, if you crush the leaves, they smell like garlic. But you don't rip them. And you can put them in salads. Some people have done that. We've not tried that. I think we should try that sometime. Uh -huh. And those little um, pods up here that will turn into flower, that will turn into leaves or flowers. Do you remember what color they're going to be? What color? White. White. And they get pretty tall, and then after a while they get pretty leggy. Leggy? Leggy. What does yeah. that mean? Mm. Oh, there's a spider. A what? A little spider. Hey. Oh, there he goes. Oh, hi, little baby spider. I think he might be spinning his web, so if you really can't see it, how about you back And don't be tricked about these because they're not made apples. They are, what is it? Maple trees. Mm -hmm. And and don't be tricked about the name because May and Maple <laughs> are M's and they might sound the same, but the, it's an act actually a baby maple. Okay. And this is a beech tree in the summer. They are green and they might be one of the late trees that because and the leaves stay on ready dying. They're green but when it gets colder colder and colder they get yellow. Then so they don't turn ready ready light brown and yet Burnish, yellow, tannish. Yeah, I call that blonde. They're kind of the ghosts of the forest in the winter. Mm -hmm. They cling and, on till the, and, till the new ones come out. Mm -hmm. Kind of like placeholders. Mm -hmm. And they always sound pretty when the wind blows through. Mm -hmm. And they don't. And they cling on. They, and they don't. And they don't want to fall off. And they don't want to move because. Um, they want to stay home and they don't want to leave and see the world. They don't want to leave and see the world? Mm -hmm. They don't want to leave? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I walk up the hill. This is a spring mother out of shape coming up that big hill. It's so steep you can't even see the rest of it. Oh, this is the highest oh, point in Columbia. White. The, the cabbage white? Is it following us? There it is. Woo. Uh, yes. Always turn around and look at where you started and how far you have come. Mommy, is that a and big soak big, that in for a, a moment. Even though you're winded. So the, is that a squirrel's nest up there? It so, does look like a squirrel's nest. But is that not too big for one? That's a good question. What do you think? Well, it's too small for an eagle's nest. Definitely. And what do eagles make their nests of? Leaves? Sticks. Sticks, yeah. That's right. There are eagles around here, though. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll find one. I might have saw one. The last time we came here, um, this is a fairy a water slide. 
Um, and and this and this is actually not just one stump. There's two. No, actually, yeah, there's two. It's split. Hmm. Mhm. Mm it might have been one tree, but it just split it in half, and it's rotting away. But it rotted away in the middle, so now it looks like a, a fairy water slide. Looks fun. This look, I think this looks like a, like a shelter for some for animals.